Hi everyone, my name is Joe Wrights with Stanley Security, and this is Nation Talks. On today's episode, I want to talk about lead scoring and give you one quick tip for how to make it a robust and scalable process for your entire Marketo platform. So, if you're new to lead scoring, uh, basically you can make it a part of your uh, any any a flow step in any smart campaign, and uh, where you can adjust score and uh, up or down. Uh, if you do a lot of content marketing like we do at Stanley, you'll start to build a content library that begins to sprawl a little bit. So the idea of going in and updating each one of these, these smart campaigns that drives these programs with a score value every time you want to change how, say, an article scores versus a white paper uh, versus a webinar, kind of makes your skin crawl a little bit, <laughs> or it should. So uh, the answer to how do you make anything scalable in Marketo usually comes down to tokens. And how we've organized our instance is we have um, several of these, uh, so we have our marketing campaigns folder, but then we also have a operational campaigns folder, uh, programs folder, sorry. And in here, you know, there's some data management stuff, interesting moments, things like that that are getting populated, uh, backend stuff. But as part of that is scoring. And scoring, obviously, is a very guess and check process. You're really trying to figure out for your industry and for your, uh, your business, when does a lead truly become marketing qualified? And Building that trust with sales is critical because the sooner you get that, the, the better buy-in you get, the more more support, which means as that paradigm shifts from making marketing more less of a cost center, more of a revenue generator or influencer, uh, we get to, we get more toys. So <laughs> that's uh, that's usually my primary motivation. But uh, anyhow, how it works for us is we have several of these programs in here, like behavioral scoring uh, is a very simple one. And these are all driven by smart campaigns like if someone clicks a link in an email or registers for a webinar or fills out a form, uh, whether it's a contact form, free site assessment, whatever, those all have different values. But rather than go into uh, individual programs and say like, hey, if they click the link in this one, I want it to be plus five versus this one will be plus ten. We can go here to one spot rather than doing all hundreds of those other programs separately. We can go to one spot and do it in minutes. And how that looks in these programs is if uh, when you click on the program itself, uh, you get these tabs across the top. The one we want is my tokens. And when we go in here, you see that we've already dragged in uh, the basic scheme of the my tokens tabs. You can drag in any of these uh, token types, uh, and then you name the value or the, the the token itself, and then you ascribe a value to it. In the case of a scoring token, so this one that we we're looking at, like clicks link and email. Uh, as we were just as we just got a little preview, it's a very simple smart smart campaign. It's uh, a smart list. It's the email is any any email in our entire marketing Marketo platform. Uh, as long as the link isn't unsubscribed, and as long as we're not filtering them out of scoring for some reason to begin with, we're going to move them on to the flow, which is like you would do any other scoring campaign. Uh, the flow step you just bring in the change score flow step as normal, but instead of doing plus five or plus ten or minus whatever. Uh, you use the token in here, and then that's just double double bracket my dot whatever you named it, and then you know obviously close it out. And then that way, the cool thing about that is like as you're doing uh, like like we discovered, we uh, we saw white papers generally ha drove a different kind of uh, someone was further along in the sales cycle if they wanted to download a bunch of white papers from us. So we scored them differently so that uh, interesting moments and. Uh, how we kick that over in Marketo Sales Insight uh, reflects that to our sales force that this is someone more qualified than someone that just you know clicked to read a couple articles that were you know going on in the industry or uh, a press release for that matter. So here we've been able to go to one spot to update all of your scoring metrics throughout Marketo rather than you know this. So it's a very simple thing, very easy to implement, um, but I'll, often missed for uh, for Marketo newbies. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that tip. Uh, stay tuned for future episodes of, of Nation Talks. And once again, my name is Joe Wrights with Stanley Security, and I'll talk to you guys later.